The benefits of coming on an off day. I'm gonna play one more set, one more session, the way I've been, and then I'm gonna switch it up for the next time. I need to make a list, write down all the songs and stuff like that, so for now, not that song. <laughs> for now, we're gonna play one last session, the original way we've been, and then the next vlog, vlog 15, we'll have new graphics, a new way of playing the songs, a new way of selecting songs, uh, picked by you guys, of course. So enjoy this last session of this, the way we've been going. After missing that last note horribly and ruining my full combo, we move on to the next stage. completely just failed here. Uh, I'm not sure why. It definitely wasn't my fault. It was probably my shoes. <laughs> no, just kidding. I suck. As soon as the chart started, I remembered a comment that I got saying I should try no bar because it'll speed up the weight loss process. Well, I don't plan on doing that for every song. I figured, let's see how good I could do with this song, something that I'm familiar with. No bar.
honestly didn't think I was going to get a full combo. I should have got as many greats though after watching a YouTube video showing how the DDR charts had errors in them and that this one was updated recently to have the triplets instead of the red and yellow. It went to red and green for certain sections. But I guess we'll take it. After almost having a full combo and getting completely owned by the last few arrows, I was mad. <laughs> After failing to full combo Max 300, this gentleman started chatting with me. He was playing Pump and we both had a lot in common actually. He was telling me how he used to play a lot in his teenage years and how he recently started playing again for weight loss and health benefits. It's amazing how many people are out there that had a childhood in the arcades, gave it up and now are back in the arcades, trying to get back into shape. I honestly thought I was one of few, but from the comments I received, from the replies on Reddit, and meeting people in the arcades, it seems like I'm not the only one. So literally, right after he said you have to play little by little, I go straight into Max Unlimited. <laughs> That wasn't a sarcastic laugh by any means. It was just like, <laughs> after someone gives you advice to completely go against them, it's hilarious. But I was about to prove this guy wrong. I didn't care because I only needed one miss to fail. I was gonna fit. Oh. I think it was time for me to take a breather, so I played one of my older favorite charts, something that's not really that difficult. Expert 11 is nothing to sneeze at for like beginning players, but for me it's kind of on the easier side. But yeah, we gave this a shot and we ended up doing pretty well.
Haven't full perfect comboed a song in a little while, so that's awesome. Here's a little uh, celebration from me. <laughs> and after I rested, believe it or not, I rested playing the song. After taking a slow uh, pace, music, choice, chart, whatever you want to call it, I decided it was time to finally pass a song that I've never passed on DDR. <laughs> Finally, finally passed Max 300 Super Max Mix. This has just been a song that I wasn't able to pass for like 12 years for some reason. <laughs> Ever since I stopped playing in my teens, I've never cleared it. So happy to see that we cleared it now. And then of course we went to play some So Deep. Some Unity. Some Bumblebee. By the way, Destiny, the hard chart, was one of the most interesting ways I've learned to do crossovers because that section that I'm playing right now on screen was almost impossible for me to do when I first started playing at a high level.
By the way, I love playing these charts that are like very similar, if not the exact same as they was in the in the groove days. Thank you, Step Revolution. Of course, I have to play one of my favorite in the groove charts before I leave. Utopia expert. Two hundred combo. I do not feel well at all. If I didn't already mention it in the vlog, the last time I went on the scale it said 271. So we're down around 14 pounds, 14-ish pounds. That's freaking awesome. Holiday's over, no more cheat day, no more birthday parties to worry about. It is currently 6 p.m. I have not eaten anything yet. Intermittent fasting diet is working pretty decently, I would say. Not in terms of losing weight, but like in terms of me actually not eating for the whole day and waiting until six o'clock been having a lot of water though which is okay for the intermittent fasting diet yeah another successful session i stopped playing ddr because a gentleman uh was waiting for me to finish my last two songs and uh after i play for so long when someone else wants to play i'll take that opportunity to like take a break for a little bit so that's exactly what i did i went to the restroom came back and after the gentleman was done playing ddr they was doing something with lighting above this in the ceiling so they had a ladder and it was like kind of in the way i probably could have still played but i figured eh, i want to play so deep <laughs> in case you guys haven't figured it out so far my two favorite charts in ddr history uh, my top two favorite charts is Max Unlimited. That's like, to me, that chart, especially for back in the day, that chart is amazing now, okay? That chart came out when there wasn't really that many difficult songs because DDR, I don't want to say was in its infancy because that doesn't feel right. I think DDR was pretty old by the time Max 2 came out, by the time Max 2 released. But like... There wasn't any Endymion, Endymion. There wasn't any uh, Healing Division Challenge style charts yet. Not that I'm aware of anyways. Probably sound like an idiot right now. Like probably all those charts already existed or something. Anyways, Max Unlimited back then was freaking brilliant, freaking amazing. And it just goes to show you, it, I think it aged pretty freaking well. It is really fun to play. It might not be challenging in terms of like how people want crazy crossovers and they want like impossible to string combos. Again, like healing divisions uh, crossover section on challenge. But in terms of just pure raw fun, Max Unlimited is my number one favorite chart in DDR history. And then so deep is definitely number two i should make a top 10 list what's my favorite charts but i don't know who cares i guess maybe that'll be like a subscriber special i guess when we hit 250 when we hit 250 subscribers <laughs> look at me getting ahead of myself first i thought i wasn't going to get five subscribers now we're preparing for 250 already uh if we hit 250 subscribers i'll make a top 10 favorite charts uh of dvr you guys already know number one and number two. I guess the later subscribers will find that out later. I physically feel like I could do more, but it's just the lack of sleep from my Irish twin babies is, like if I had seven hours of sleep today, I probably would have not failed one chart today because I'm like losing weight and stuff. So I'm getting better, I'm getting more stamina. 
and I'm less heavy, which takes a lot off of you. It's just so tired from not being able to sleep, right? I don't remember the last time I slept for seven hours straight without being interrupted. People say twins is worse because you have both of them at the same time. But the way I look at it, at least when the twins like break out of it, like when they finally start sleeping through the night, you would think that they would both be on it at the same time because they're like literally the same age. But for me, we had one baby and then when that baby was about to turn one years old, another baby was born. So to me, I feel like we're losing an extra year worth of sleep because of that. Instead of them both stopping, for example, at two years old, I gotta wait for the small baby who is one now to turn two years old, if that makes any sense. I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Uh, I found a few metal dance pads on Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp, but they want way too much money for pads that we don't know what kind of abuse they went through. Uh, if the pads were like brand new, like barely used, it's one thing, but people that are buying these metal pads, they ain't no basic or uh, beginner players. <laughs> They're definitely at least medium level. Uh, and I've seen some medium players hit the pads pretty hard thinking that's what they're supposed to do. And that's the arcade machines we're talking about, I can't imagine. The arcade pads are like this thick. The home pads are like this thick. So I'm not sure how I feel about buying a used home pad for the same price as a new one just because it takes so long to ship. I'd rather just wait for shipping. But I want something now. <laughs> That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe out there. And as always, God bless. See you guys next time.